back in the entertainment capital of the world to get the festivities started. First Raider game of the season, man. Here tonight, they are in the building for the first time. Raiders! It's Monday night! Part five. All right, we're ready picking them up. Ready three and take three. Presenting your three-time world champion, Las Vegas! Okay, bye. Cars parking where they're not supposed to park. Hi, I'm Chloe Janfaza. I'm the Director of Stadium Operations and Development with the Las Vegas Raiders here at Allegiant Stadium. Don't break the rules. Stadium operations entails everything that goes on inside this building. So everything from grounds crew to concessions, to security, to parking, everything that really ties into the game day experience, both for our staff and for our fans. So I grew up a Raider fan. I think tomorrow will be the true culmination of four years of work, right? From the day that we broke ground, all throughout construction, really getting this place open and filling it with, with a full house is just gonna be the cherry on top of the cake. So we're really excited for tomorrow. We like to manage the building from the field out. So we are very football centric when we start to work on the week of a game. We're worried primarily about the condition of the field. That's, that's of the utmost importance. And then we're gonna look at the maintenance and the locker rooms, both visiting team and home team. We have a saying at the Raiders, we've, we've had it forever, it's pride and poise. And so I think tomorrow really brings pride and poise to life and showing off our new home. And we'll check all of these dryers. We are in a good spot. It's gonna be a lot of checks and balances. Uh, the checklist is formalized in our brains, engraved in there from years of doing it. But one day we'll put it down on paper, so. So we do a uh, walkthrough just to make sure that everything is in good shape, checking locker rooms, checking things from sinks to door handles. The life of ops. Anything that needs to be fixed, we give our engineering team, security team, operations team 24 hours really to get it done. And as soon as people get here tomorrow, they have what they need. Okay, Michael, so can you call engineering? And this is not cold enough, so we have to change the temperature. So I'm Zach Longenecker, uh, head groundskeeper for the Raiders. The only way to have grass and a beautiful dome stadium in Vegas, the field needs to live outside. Uh, it really only comes in match day minus two at night. So match day minus two would be if it's Monday night game, it comes in Saturday night. When you bring in the tray, we try and bring the field in almost to a science, the same moisture, the same mowing height every game, but it's a living organism. And just because you do everything the same doesn't mean the outcome is going to be the same. Brian Edwards' knees may have been down before the ball broke the plane he was. Here we have pylon cams. In this day and age, you wish it was all uh, wireless or Bluetooth or whatever you guys call it. So essentially you just have to trench, a six inch trench just to put all the cords in. As a groundskeeper, you hate doing open heart surgery, but you know, the show must go on. Welcome to the Perch at Allegiant Stadium. This is where we bring a dignitary in for every home game. They stand here, they face the torch, and at the right moment when they're signaled, they push the button and the LED on the torch lights up um, in, uh, in respect of Al Davis. You look out at the torch on the north end, you have the glistening uh, skyline of Las Vegas right out behind it, and then you have all this entertainment taking place as well as the opportunity for fans passing through the concourse in that area. It is truly the centerpiece of the building. My moment comes when the torch is lit, they flip the coin, and now it's out of our hands. Those players, take it from here, guys. You know, go make the Raiders proud. With the center logo, right? I have my, uh, I call him the magician. He's the center logo guy. Like, that's your baby. <laughs> like, that's all you do all day. Just, just do that. 
So there is a stencil you put out here. So you start in the middle and you work out. These are all done with painters, right? Where the NFL shield is all done just with paint brushes. So it's all monotonous, tedious work. As of right now, we're in phenomenal shape. We're game day ready. We're field certified with the NFL on Clegg and Moisture. So obviously we have fans out here trying to dry everything off. But as of right now, as a ground screw, we're done, right? You just hope that tomorrow morning when you come in, everything looks the same. There was, these both had yeah, these bars on there. Yeah. <laughs> Don, you're good. Jenny, Eric, you're good. All right, guys, let's bring house lights up. So this is gonna be our level. My name is Justin Casserly, director of game and event presentation for the Las Vegas Raiders. Three, two, one, videos up, lights out. So I essentially put together all the game day entertainment uh, from the time the doors open all the way to the final PA message at the end of the game. Standing by for full sequence here. So we are at uh, 6.30 PM on Sunday. So about 23 hours until kickoff tomorrow. And uh, we're just uh, towards the end of some of our live rehearsals. Uh, we had our house band for the first 90 minutes, about two hours. And we had about an hour long anthem rehearsal with Gladys Knight and her, uh, and her keys player. Uh, we're just about to now go into our halftime uh, rehearsal as well. So we have our special guest making his way up. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna take the rest of the night uh, until we get kicked out of the building at 11.59. And we're gonna go through all our light programming, all the sequences for all the big moments, the videos, uh, syncing up on time code with the LED ribbons, the videos, the lights. It's time. Now we're just going okay. all over the place. Okay, so I'm just gonna follow yours then instead of actually trying to figure out what happened. It's a big juggling act, but it's a, it's a pretty special opportunity to know that you're kind of helping to cultivate and curate that home field advantage. Wake up at three, can't wait to get in. I guess you could call it uh, game day jitters. You just want everything to be perfect. Like some of these football players, right? Like just, just get me to game day. Let's just be game day. You can't sleep the night before the game. And honestly, being the only one in the stadium is pretty cool. Nobody bothers you, not your wife, not anybody else at work. Nobody's up at 3 a.m. I, I don't care what any groundskeeper tells you. Every groundskeeper talks to their grass a little bit. I just need you today. Just make, just, just, just do good today, please. Welcome back to Good Morning Football. Week one wraps up with Monday night action in Las Vegas. The Raiders are hosting the Ravens. This is really the first Las Vegas Raiders game. Yeah. Peter mentioned it. There wasn't a stadium last year. Like if you're a fan and you're there, we're very curious about the experience. Send us. Right? We want to know. Show. I want a screenshot of like the menus. Yeah. The bottle service mm -hmm. that club. Like who is who is buying bottle service at that club? I'm Hunter Vitti, I'm the general manager of Winfield Club. We're outside Allegiant Stadium at the Winfield Club private entrance to our nightlife venue at field level. Come on in. All right, so now we're here inside of Winfield Club. It expands the entire north end zone of Allegiant Stadium's field. We have 29 booths, 17 of which are in the front two rows. If you look down here, this is also our front standing room. So anybody who purchases a table with Winfield Club has the ability to walk down here and be eye to eye with their favorite players in the NFL. It's a great experience for the guests. The staff's working hard to make sure that we're open. Doors open at two. Everybody in town's excited. The wind's excited to be a part of this. We just can't wait for this game. Welcome to the owner's suite at Allegiant Stadium. The owner's suite here is two suites. We blew the wall out in the middle. It's right on the 50 yard line of the field. We have nice marble countertops. Mark Davis was very particular about the aesthetics, the look and the feel of uh, his suites. When he hosts his guests, they have to have the Raider feel, the Raider colors, the silvers, the blacks, the whites, all have to be particular to our brand. The seats in Mark's suite are unlike any of the seats anywhere else inside the stadium. Mark picked them out himself and we just think that this captures, you know, Mark's affinity for um, certain types of sports cars, um, certain types of yachts that we looked at while we developed this stadium. A lot of that has just rolled into the, the aesthetics that uh, are pleasing to Mark's eye. 
One of the special treats that we will have on our 150 level for Monday Night Football is wine tasting. This is Sandy Taylor, our in-house sommelier, one of the only sommeliers in the NFL. Yeah, and today we're serving wines from Charles Woodson. Hall of Famer. Yes, Hall of Famer <laughs> this year. So of course we have his wine. My name is Brandon Chambers, and I am currently overseeing the Raiderettes. For us as a team to come out the gates with a Monday Night Football game, it's, it's strong. It's 11.37. As you can see, the girls are just arriving now off the bus. We need to quickly get them through security checkpoint, get them to the locker room, and then on the field for a 12 o'clock sharp field rehearsal. Happy game day! Oh my god, I got like a little emotional watching you guys come in. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I am holding it together, I promise. Other than that, it's, uh, again, a lot of the elements, especially in the third quarter, are the same. Monday, it's it's really just kind of doing the last final touches, making any final edits to the script. I sent my script off at 2.30 and the alarm went off at 6. I'm going to need some coffee. I got my second energy drink right over here. One's already gone. I need to pace it out so I don't crash and burn before halftime. We'll do another full rehearsal uh, with the videos, make anything that's been updated. Let's take home a victory tonight. Monday Night Football, let's go. Raiderettes will be doing their full rehearsal on the field, so coordinating with them and the DJ. Justin, can you hear me? Can we play the first quarter break to be Gwen song? That'd be great. Copy, stand by for Gwen. Sunday was incredible. Yep. Crazy day. Okay. Now, one more game to close it out. It's all about Ravens, Raiders under the Monday Night Lights. And listen, I'm getting a little romantic here because this is the first game with fans back in the stands in that stadium. Y'all yeah. know how Raider Nation we rolls, That's right. right? I mean, it's it's insane. <laughs> and I think this team has been underrated as of late, and they're ready to go out there and win. I agree. Well, today we're expecting upwards of 60,000 people. Um, that's a packed house. Every seat in our building is sold. What I'm looking forward to is this group of people becoming more and more familiar with where they park and how they get here, how they go home. It'll become a routine. Raider Nation for life. And what we're gonna notice is over you know, the next couple games and the next couple years, a lot of people are gonna develop what they you know, have, consider traditions. This is where we tailgate. This is where I meet my friend. So all these traditions are now being established. And our goal is that we enable them to create spaces, create traditions, so that we continue to foster that sense of community. All right, guys, doors are about to open. It's almost two o'clock. This is the very first entry point for all of our VIP clients. Right here is where our club seats enter. And then over here to your left, all of our suite clients enter over here. Hi everybody, I'm Lou Bastian. I'm the VP of culinary for uh, Levy Restaurants. So I help the chefs get uh, the big events ready. Here at Allegiant Stadium, we have uh, two big main clubs that serve about a thousand people. We have different action stations, really try to provide a great variety of food here. We cater all the sweets here. Our sweets food has been custom designed specifically for Raiders fans, where we kind of brought a little flair from LA, a little bit of the flair from Oakland, and then we combined it with the Vegas flair, and we really, really have a cool mix to kind of create its own cuisine here within Allegiant Stadium. Our concession level, just to give you an idea, 60,000 hot dogs roughly, about 500 pounds of bone-in prime rib, about 500 pounds of shrimp cocktail, about 5,000 pieces of sushi, 25,000 slices of pizza we're preparing for, 5,000 burgers, probably about 1,000 pounds of chicken wings. We operate 12 concession stands on our own, and then we also partner with some of the best restaurants in the country, whether it be uh, Susan Feniger, whether it be Guy Fieri, whether it be uh, Fuku Burger, Rolling Smoke, some of our pizza partners, really cool stuff that we do on the concession level. I'm 
probably a little intense right now. Oh, uh, just ready to see how it plays. To me, leading up to a game is unfair because pregame is the worst damage you're ever going to see, right? The game itself flows. Where pregame, you'll have 10 wide receivers doing the same cut at the same place. That part, to me, is unfair because of the monotony of the, let's just call it, abuse that they're doing to the field. And you know the worst damage is probably the kicker. It's almost like a pitching wedge, right? And it's the plant foot and then the kick. Kind of on edge just until game time. Once the game starts, it's kind of like, all right, everything's fine. Nobody's upset. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Stand by. We're going to go to the house band. Three, Sarvati Music. Two, one, house band's in. Standing by on hostess, standing by on nine. Host intro music from in game in three, two, one. You guys are up. This building has been here for well over a year. Tonight, the first time we welcome 65,000 Raider Nation in the building. Kickoff. We are getting ready. The girls are pumped. We're pumped. We're excited. We're nervous. We're, we're just ready to get out there. So let's do this Monday night. Yay. Thank you again for your dedication and your hard work. Let's go out there and just kill it. Yay. One, two, three. Ready? <laughs> So we have about an hour until kickoff. We're not panicked, but what we're doing is coordinating who should be in the stadium, who should be on the sidelines, what quadrant they should be in. We gotta make sure we take care of the sponsors. We gotta take care of the players' families. So there's a lot of details that have to get combed out at the last couple of minutes. Tonight, officially, Greece, they become the Las Vegas Raiders. When the schedule came out, we circled this one. Couldn't wait to see what the energy in this building was gonna be like. There is a buzz around this town in Las Vegas. They are excited about the season. As soon as the girls go on, they're then going to line up for player intros. Player intros are going to come. Both teams are going to get announced. Then they're going to line up on the end zone, ready for national anthem, torch, split, kickoff. It's a thrill. We have a ton of people coming over that bridge. They're making their way through the north end of the building, through the mags, through all the gates, all the security. Everything's going really smooth right now, so we're really excited that the building is loading well. It's time to welcome to the field football's fabulous females, the Raiderettes. Raiderettes coming out. Raiderettes coming out. Give it up one more time for football's fabulous females, the Raiderettes. Standing by for players leaving the locker room. We are time! This is the moment you've all been waiting for! Please welcome to the field your Las Vegas Raiders! All right, we're already picking him up, ready, three, and take three. Kenton, go, 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 Kenton. Let's meet tonight's offensive starters for your Las Vegas Raiders. At right tackle, number 70, Alex Leatherwood. At running back, number 28, Josh Jacobs. At tight end, number 83, Darren Waller. 83. And at quarterback, number four, Derek Carr. 
And now the pressure squarely on Derek Carr. He told us he's taken more responsibility for delivering this organization and this franchise back to the playoffs. A lot of pressure on him. From the day that we broke ground, all throughout construction, really getting this place open and filling it with, with a full house is just gonna be the true culmination of four years of work. For us as a team to come out the gates with a Monday Night Football game, this is one of the biggest platforms. It's Monday Night Football. There, there is a lot of allure around it, so we are expecting a slew of celebrities and, and star power. It's just going to be a great celebration of Las Vegas Raiders football, all the tradition of the organization, all the way throughout the game. It's about to begin for your Raiders. All right, standing by everybody on torch lighting. Standing by on torch on A. There it is, nice. We're ready ready for the loudest stadium ever. Ready for millions and millions of people to be watching on television. And roll the fade is all. Ready for just an overwhelming sense of excitement. Send it, send it guys, come on, we're eight seconds behind. My heart is racing right now. That's why I love what I do. It's a great feeling showing off your hard work. <laughs> you just really care about what you do and you know, you just want it to be perfect. And set it up perfect. You know, it's not about the money. It's who's the best. 100 second NFL season, 52nd season of Monday Night Football, and it's great to see all of you.